it going today, friends? I'm Jared Sky. If you're new here, don't forget to take a look around, subscribe before you leave. I get asked from a lot of people how to be a minimalist. So here we go. Let's do it. How to be a minimalist. Boom! How to be a minimalist. One of the first things that I think from my experience to figure out why exactly do you want to become a minimalist? What the fuck do you care about this? Why? Because you need a goal. You need a goal, something that's gonna keep you through tough times, through stuff that you didn't know were gonna be difficult of like buying, not buying, get rid of, like purging, not per like get obstacles you don't even know you're going to have yet. So you need some sort of end goal here. For me, I wanted a tiny house so bad. How ironic is it that I wanted to be minimal and have less stuff so I could have one big giant thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, yeah. So that was the goal. That, and right now, like, I have exactly the perfect amount of stuff to have a tiny house. I'm completely ready for a tiny house. And now, yet, I had that goal and I got there, but now I don't want to spend that kind of money on a tiny house, nor could I easily find somewhere here in Los Angeles to do it. And even my life situation has changed quite a bit, but I don't know that I want to live somewhere other than Los Angeles. And I just, I really want to fucking travel more, but becoming minimal, becoming a minimalist and shooting for the tiny house is what also made it so I could travel more. Like really that was my goal and I didn't even understand it. I wanted the tiny house so that way I would have money to travel. You gotta figure out what is your driving force of why you want to be minimal. And no reason is too stupid. If it keeps you motivated, keeps you excited, it's the perfect reason. So I think that's the first thing you have to do. You have to really sit down and think about why do I want to become a minimalist? What is the point for me? Is there a reason? Is there something more? Is it so I can quit my job and work online and make my money from there? Is it so I just have less stuff and less stress? Is it so I get to spend less time cleaning and I get to spend more time knitting? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what you want to do, guys? I don't know. But having that goal, that drive force is how you become a minimalist. That is the main thing. Like you can watch all the videos and everything and you can do stuff because you see it in videos and everything, but it doesn't mean you'll stay like that. It won't necessarily become part of your habits and lifestyle unless there is a goal to it. Because I remember lots of times like when I was younger, I'd get rid of a bunch of stuff and I'd feel so great and the house would be so clean and I'd keep it clean for a while and then I just wouldn't. Because there was no goal, I have no purpose, no reason for it. I just wanted the house to be clean, but not really. So that is like the main way in which you be a minimalist. You have this goal or this, maybe not necessarily, it's a dream. It's like you have a dream of what you want your future life to be. It is far easier to make tough choices when you know like kind of this dream life you're going to be living because of these hard choices you are making. It makes those hard choices a lot easier than if you were to just go at it. I just want less stuff. I think that's a very difficult way to go about becoming a minimalist of just be like, I just want less stuff. I think it's, it can work, but then I feel like you can go, you know. It's, it, having stuff is almost like an addiction, you know? Like alcoholics have to find a reason to stay sober. And every single day they have to remind themselves of that reason to do that. So minimalism is that in that because we are constantly bombarded with advertisements to buy, 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 spend money, buy, and seeing other people buy stuff and have stuff and new stuff and exciting new stuff. And it is like an addiction of shopping and being a shopaholic and getting rid of all of that aspect of that has been such a part of your life. Being minimalist in some ways is not easy because of the challenges you are put forth all the time. But it gets easier the more you do it, the stronger your dream or your goal becomes, focus of you having that. It's totally possible. Just find what you want. What life are you not currently living that you want to be living? And is minimalism the way that gets you to that? Because that is the tool you will use you know, to build that dream life. All right, guys, I hope you like this video on how to be a minimalist. That's one of the main things I think getting you started, getting you going, getting you serious about it. Hope that helps. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to put some comments in the comment section below. Subscribe before you leave. I'm Jara Sky. Sky's the limit. Woo!
<laughs> Why do I want to become an immortal? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Enough okay's.